Hey traders, Caden here, and today I'm doing a deck profile of the ninth place regional deck list that the most recent regional Stalin that I don't really know how to say it. It starts with an S. But I'm pretty familiar with a uh, Dawn Fan deck in my junior years, which is three to four years ago. This is what I used to get top eight at states, Texas states, and I got three city wins with this deck. And I did really good with this deck. I think I may have got, like, I did good with this deck getting three city wins. And also, it really helped me to encourage me to play Pokemon in the future. And this is pretty much what I always went to. And so, going on Don Fan, it has a first attack spending turn, hits for 40, and then you put up something from the bench to the active. This is, I love this. This is so cool. It's a mechanic that not many other Pokemon have. And what makes it also really good is that strong energy cost. Because there's so many ways to add up the damage with strong energy. She allows it to do 20 more damage. Muscle Band. Choice Band. Professor Kakui. And the old versions used to have, instead of Parallel City, they had the uh, Fighting Stadium, which allowed it to do even more damage to the... EX Pokemons, 20 more damage to them, and that was like 20, 40, 60, no, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, so you were two-shotting everything, and then we had robo-substitutes, like a couple Wobbuffets that we would just put up into the active, and it did super good, I love the deck so much, it's something that's just right there in my heart, and they used to have Hauluchas, which, for one energy, it does 60 damage to an EX Pokemon only. And it didn't hit to any other non-EX Pokemon. But EXs aren't being played very much. Halucha, not very good anymore. It was great against Seismitoad, two-shotting them, and they, could, and they had to two-shot it because it had 70 health. And the free retreat helped it out a lot. But... In this deck, it's a little different. We have one bottle B, the Burrow, which allows them to discard the top deck of their discard the top card of your opponent's deck, and you can do it twice with its barrage ability. And then Rototillery to shuffle a card from your discard pile into your deck. This is used for all the mill decks and the attacking hoopas if they like hit you with their enhanced hammers and get rid of your energy. There's, it's really good for getting back your resources. It's kind of like Lysander's trump card, but really not, like, overpowered like it was. You can get back your computer search. You can get back your stadiums or your DCs or tools or supporters like a GUI. I think it's super good, and it's just great for those well or decks that you're gonna see and you just beat them and then you have one hoopa this is so once you do the spinning turn with dawn fan you can put it up as a wall attach a dc or i'm sorry i meant floatstone and you can just keep on cycling the spinning turn hopefully getting a whole bunch of damage with the damage multipliers like strong choice fan muscle band kakui getting all those damage multipliers and just taking two shots and it's really good if they're just not running any non GX or EX Pokemon and that can that causes them to Guzma or Lysander around them which can sometimes be hard for Famfies tackle attack for 10 uh, strong energy 30 choice muscle band that 70 damage for just one energy 70 and then kukui 90 for just one energy and it has 80 health which is quite a lot for something like a non a basic 
and then one do four Dawn Fems, and spinning turn 40 switch, and then you can also do wreck with the two DCEs. This is what it's used for. It's for those situations where you need to just hit them with a wreck for say 40 with two strong or 40 with a muscle band and a strong and then you have a regular energy and a DC. The strong is gonna do plus 20 here so that's a hundred and then if you have a choice band not muscle band that's 190 and then you discard that stadium card and play. So sometimes that can hurt if you have like your parallel city out then you have to discard it but hitting for 190 on a non GX Pokemon is pretty good especially back in the day when it was 180 was a magical number that was super easy to get to all you had to do was just have a strong or two strongs and a muscle band and with Karina that allowed you to get all that out super easily getting out your fighting Pokemon it's kinda like a toned down Bridget but you also get an item card so as you get your muscle bands or your choice bands or your float stones if you have like your Wobbuffet or your Hoopa stuck in the active and then one Oracorial for the Revelation Dance at a choice band and that's 120 on something like a Buzzwall, Espeon or there you can also hit 60 on the Muse and it's pretty good and dark weakness Zork, but I think Zork's already gonna take an easy knockout resistance to fighting super good with Landorus and Buzzwall running around and then one tap Lele for consistency because you can always Karina for an Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball for Lele Lele get what you need a whole lot of things you can do with the Lele Super good. Lele for AZ. Lele Kukui. Lele teammates. Lele Guzma. A whole bunch of things you can do with Lele, especially with these one of supporters. And it just boosts the consistency by quite a lot. For Wobbuffet, so you're going to put this active right as you spending turn, and you're going to be taking a knockout. And then you attach your float stone. Don't allow them to get any abilities. Retreat. Put up Dawn Fan again. Spinning turn right back into the Wobbuffet or a different one. And that shuts off their trade nonsense. It's kind of like Garbodor or Hex Maniac, but it has to be in the active. And it affects, affects you also. And actually, it kind of doesn't really even affect you. You can still lay lay with it. And hope only works. I mean, you're not gonna. That's not gonna matter really much. If you get like a 30 sniped on him, just or you just put him up in the active. So that doesn't really hurt you, and it hurts all the Zork decks and the executes. So that's pretty good, I think, in my opinion. Then one computer search really good helps the consistency grabs you any card easily obtained with Karina grab the item card super good one field blower allows you to get rid of all their tool cards or any other stadiums if you can't find your parallel city and that kind of just clears the field and if they have like a fighting fury belt then maybe spending turn can get you the knockout that you need again one item and you're gonna get get it easily with Karina. Two nest balls, since mostly your Pokemon except for Donfin are basics, you can get them out super easily. One rescue stretcher, get back your Donfin line or your Hoopa, Bunnelby, Oracorio, or even your Tapalele if you need it in that situation. One Ultra Ball, get you your Dawn fans, anything pretty much. Super good, consistent. It's weird that it's not running four. Most decks like to run four, but I think with a deck like this, one is a magical great number, especially with four Karinas that allows you to get a uh, fighting Pokemon. Three VS Seekers. Usually, I think the deck would like four, but three is still better than two, and three is just going to allow you to get your 
all your supporters, like your one ups, like Kakui, teammates, AZ, and that's just going to help you out quite a lot. Three VS Seekers, usually four, but three's still good. Then three parallel cities, so you can wreck and really cripple the Zorark decks. This is a very heavy anti Zorark deck with the Hoopas, the Dawn fans, and the Wobbuffets. That all is just hurting. Especially since you can spinning turn for 40, 50, 60, 70 with a choice band, 80 to 90 with a strong 210 with Professor Kakui, and you get to draw two cards, and you get to put up a Wobbuffet to slow him down even more. So this was a great counter to Zork and a very well played. And that shutting off the Zork eggs. Just gonna hurt them. One AZ, in case you get like a Wobbuffet or Hoopa, or you need to pick up your Lele, because that's their only way for game. Super good. But you do have to discard everything that is attached to them. I think it's better than Ace Rollo because I mean, if they just Lysander or Guzma up Wobbuffet and you don't have any more float stones, you don't really want to attach a DC retreat. So, AZ is going to help you quite a lot there. Two Guzmas to help you end the game. Just also goes along with the theme of switching instead of like Lysander or something. Guzma is really good, especially if you get a Wobbuffet stuck in the active or another thing. Well, sorry, I have hiccups. And then that also is going to help you in the game, maybe with a wreck for knockout and or spinning turn on something like a Lele and keep it stuck in the active. Good ways to end the game with Guzma, Computer Search, BS Seeker, Roto Tillery. Then you have four Karinas, kind of like your Bridget's, and it helps the consistency quite a lot. You get your Fighting Pokemon. And you get your item card, just put them straight into your hand. That's really good, especially with like all of these item cards that are right here, and then these tools. And you can grab your float stone super easily. Two wins. And that's because you're taking one for two prizes with your Dawn fans and stuff. You're going to be taking prizes decently quick. So, two wins, consistently. Like, uh, for consistency, you're probably going to want to do Karina more often. And, and Karina's are super good in the early game. And she can be good in the late game to get you any of the item cards that you need. One Kukui to help you hit the numbers against the Zorark to do 210 with spinning turn for just one energy. And you get to draw two cards. So Kukui's there to really help your numbers kill the Zorks that are all out there. And four Sycamores, pretty common. With a, this deck's kind of aggressive with the one energy attacker and only ten energies. You're gonna be going through your deck pretty quick. One teammate, because most of your Pokemon, except for that one Lele, is a GX, and you're gonna take just one prize with them. Teammates is good, so once they get knocked out, then you can just grab two cards again. Kind of like Mallow Trade, but you don't have to discard the energy with it. Super good. Mallow super good in those decks for a reason. And this teammates is also super good. Then two choice bands help you hit your numbers against the Zorks and all the other things that are out there. Especially with a GX heavy format. It's going to really help you a lot with the two choice bands. And then for like the non EX Pokemon, you have the muscle bands to do 20 more. And that's just going to help you hit your numbers. Three float stones, so once you do spending turn, you can actually put something in the active. Then you can retreat and do spending turn again. Then two muscle bands, once again, to help you hit your numbers against the non EX Pokemon and the EX and GX Pokemon. Just, I like muscle band because it's a for sure 20 damage. And, like, something like with the Gallade, some, if you do, like, Kakui, well, no, that wasn't the, in the standard format, you can't really get the knockouts with Gallade, 
with the Zorgs, you would have to Kui and then Muscle Band for the knockouts and standard, but never mind. Uh, muscle Band is just going to help you hit the numbers with the 60 on like turn 1 if you're going first. Then you go your first turn strong and then Muscle Band. I mean, you, even if you're going second, strong Muscle Band is doing yourself 70 damage, which is going to for sure knock out that Zoro or anything that's up there. I like it too because you're going to start with it quite a lot of the times. And against the Zora decks, you can just take an easy knockout on that one Zora that's active. Uh, four strong energies that's going to help you get the knockout with Famfy against the stuff like Zoras and other fighting weak Pokemon with 60 health. And it's going to boost up your spinning turn to 60 more and then do your wreck to 100 for sure. Super good. I love how the damage stacks up super quick with this deck. Easy two shots, and then you put up something like crap like this that just shuts down all their stuff. I love that part of the deck, and that's what made me fall in love with it. Two DCs get you the wreck, get you, I guess, the burrow and rototiller, but. and the energy drive. And you can do Oracle with it. So DC has quite a lot of value. Wreck, so that's like one, two, three, four things you can do it with. I think it's pretty good. I don't think going over two, though, because I don't think it has that much use, but it has quite a lot of use. Uh, four Strongs, this is going to help you. Fan Feed Muscle Band for a knockout. Uh, Roto Tiller and Burrow. And then also do Spinning Turn. And Revelation Dance, and then do Tapa Lele for even more. It's really good when you're trying to get the. Just. And it helps you set up the wreck because you don't really want to put too strong energy on one Pokemon. That's not really the goal. You kind of want to spread that out a little. And using the fighting energy is going to help you. So, here's the list that got ninth and just bubbled. I think. With all the Zorak eggs that were in the top 8, I think it would have done super good if it had the chance to get top 8. I love the list. And I think it is super good. I think just the whole concept is super good. One of my favorites. And I'm going to play a quick game for you. I can get the deck to work. Hopefully, some of the electric play me. They're already scared with their Zorark eggs. You know what's going down. Alright, we finally got opponent. Fighting in Psychic. Okay. Okay. And they have a Dark Ride box. Go heads. Why not? I guess that's why not. Cause it's gonna be tails. Huh. I guess we're starting with Hoopa. Which I mean, it's not too bad. Be pretty good if this deck was attacking Hoopa, but. Okay. So, carving. Jeez, five. Take it. Hmm. Of course, starting Pokemon is a Mew. I think with a hand like this, I'm gonna. Ooh, I'm gonna Brooklet Hill for a fan fee, and then Brooklet and Karina for another fan fee. And the next turn, I have Dawn Fan, Floatstone, Energy, and I'm just gonna pop, pop, pop. I already start doing some damage. A 
I'll probably give him the energy. That wouldn't be too surprising. Since I got five mulligans. Which is insane. Yeah. Just thinking. What do you want to make attachment on? Gonna have Brickle Hill for sure for a nice fampy. Now let's see if the muscle vans are in here because I'm gonna need that to knock out the Mew. Yep, there's two. Alright, that's good. That's good. Now I'm going to Karina for another fampy and a muscle van. So next turn I'll have the knockout. that there and then I'm gonna put the muscle band there because if I get strong then I can just put that there and then I don't think I want to float stone yet because if I get hit with a field blower that's gonna hurt me pretty badly so I'm just gonna pass turn Hmm. Now I'm wishing that the deck had a Diancy. Thank God I'd make this deck super good if Diancy was playable. Just put one of those on the bench. That's 20, 30, 50, 60, 70 if that was a good thing. 30, 450, 60, 70, 80, 90. That'd be 110 with Kukui Strong Muscle Band. And Diancy. Ah. Crap. If I can either tackle for a knockout. I think he's playing a standard deck in expanded format. Even maybe an ultra ball for Don Fan. Or ultra ball for Lele. Hmm. There's quite a lot of things. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. I think I'm ultra ball, Kukui, and teammates. I'll put that down, orange ball. Kukui, teammates. So I can grab. No way, way for Karina. Wow, prize two Karinas. Nice. 
I'm gonna grab Flipstone, Dawn Fan. And three. And evolve. Okay, so wreck I can do 60, 140, 50, 60, 70, 80. I'm gonna put the Dawn fan there along with the strong and then stone that retreat the, the fan dawn. I'm gonna save the other spot for I'm gonna save the other spot for Fancy and then Parallel City. And now I'm gonna Spending turn for 60. Okay, I'll take my one prize. Put a poopa poopa. Oh, wait, carving break. But him putting that down doesn't leave him any room for any other Momons. I uh, wish I could do more with my hand, but I'm gonna strong up the Dawn fan, get him ready for a wreck. Right on that Buzzwall stupid look at face. And there's the DC. In a spinning turn to a into Wobbuffet. Do that so can't really knock out my Hoopa. And puts up Wobbuffet so you can't really. Oh, I didn't really notice it had safeguard. Alright, so I guess it prevents his safeguard. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna Guzma that buzz wall up. And then I'm gonna wreck it for I think I have two strongs. Yeah, two strongs. So that's 40, 56, 70. Oh. 40, 56. Okay, let me see. 80, 100, 120, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 210. Not really wreck it. I think I'm. 70, 80, crap. I don't have to computer search for muscle band or choice band. Which I think I'll grab muscle band. Oh, wait, in. Computer search away. Uh, in 
and sick more because I used to be a seeker. Do that for the muscle band. I'm gonna goose man up. And then wreck it. <laughs> For 200. Alright, so there's one of the two Karinas that were prized. 80, 100, 20, 40. He can't wreck me back unless he runs like counter energy. And he would have to max elixir DCE to knock me out. Or two DCs and an energy attachment. Say I'm in a good situation. Alright, puts up Burkle Hill again. So I can use that. So I'm thinking, with that there, I'm just gonna Guzma up Tafalele and wreck it. Nah, that's not really a threat. Hitting 40 at most to that. But no, I'm gonna goose my buzzball now. Oh, I see that big boy. Get rid of that threat. Play attaches that there. Go ahead and diamond gift on the buzzball. Do your thing. Just gonna wreck it though. Really think about this max elixir. I'm surprised he actually hit it. 18 cards and one, two, three, four, five, six. So that means he had three more left typically in a buzzwall deck. So I okay, that's one every six. Now that buzzwall is probably gonna get powered up. And if it doesn't, Tablele does. Alright, I'll go for the buzz wall. I'm gonna have to be worried about that. Trap the Lele. Might as well power up for another wreck. And then float stone there. Be a seeker. Guzma. Put the Brooklyn Hill in play. I'm gonna Guzma up the buzz wall. And I'm gonna switch it into. And, never mind. Can't switch. I'm just gonna wreck for 200. Hope he got quite a lot of value from it. Burglar Hill. Causing him to get knocked out. If he puts down another Burglar Hill, I'm just gonna wreck again with the energy and Karina for Dawn Fan and a tool card.
All right. If I don't get anything that I need, I'm just gonna hoopa. Already. Hmm. He's probably gonna get rid of the hoop and the those float stones. If I can get strong and goose me, then I can goose me that and then roll out. Just an energy. <laughs> Trying to pass because you can't take a knockout on Hoopa by doing some things first. I don't want to attach the energy yet in case that fan feed goes down. But at this point, all I need is Guzma or a first seeker. Two. All right, so three out of twenty-seven. So one every seven cards. One every. I don't know what's wrong. Yep, it's probably I guess spam feed. Yep. Alright, so I won't be doing a wreck. In the one. This I can grab be a seeker, Dawn fan. That down. Dawn fan via seeker. So the next turn I can put down Dawn fan somewhere. In case he like targets one of them. I'm not gonna do it yet. But because 20, 40, 60, 80. Yeah, if he brings it up. Then that's not gonna be good. So I'm just gonna press done. So if he doesn't end me, then I have game next turn. Hopefully the deck plays two wins, not three. Yep, green. I have a fan fee. End of one is what hurt. I'm pretty sure I could have played that better in a way. So that, that end of one wouldn't actually hurt. Alright. I'm pretty sure next game. Or next turn I have game. <laughs> Never mind. Of course, he has three ends. Because <sighs> every post deck has three ends. that down so I can't just knock it out next turn. And I have to hope to get a fighting energy, so one, two, three. So five cards out of twenty-five. So one and every five. I hope I did it right that time.
If he has one more than a Guzmo, that's that's some crap right there. Come on, are you put down that other energy? Oh, only 120. Okay. Easy that up and put a poopa and put it back down. Have to get an energy next turn. Jeez, the end of one hurts. If you have another in, that's some crap. I guess this is where I get an energy and start burrowing. He only has four cards left. <laughs> four ends and a buzzwall deck. W why? I don't get that. Okay, no via seeker. So, okay. Alright. I can't grab Sycamore with one and. Karina with the other. Karina four. Stop. Yeah, I'm gonna Karina. Cause if he takes a knockout on Hopa, I'm gonna play teammates. That is right there. And then I'm gonna in the game. Dawn fan. Stricken. Okay. So, he has four ends in the discard pile. So, I don't have to worry about being end. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that. I could have went for the bundle maybe mill him out, but that seemed kind of risky. I get one bag. I get the fampy. Alright, and then I'm press done. So there are quite a lot of options to win. Either I draw an energy, I get the Bunnelby energy with Sycamore and the Mellow Mount because he only has two cards. He can't really play anymore. I think this is just Pokemon trying to make it close, honestly. Oh. Okay. This makes it even easier. All I need is an energy. And then I have game. Okay. But.
Pokemon's probably not gonna give it to me. Off of a no 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 because I'm gonna teammate. Go smart. Me no me no act up. All right, she get it. All right. That was so that will be game with spinning turn knockout. In four ends. That that was brutal for me. Being into one over and over. But the deck was still able to make its way out through the a lot of ends that were played. And I like it. I like the deck quite a lot. I think especially with all this work running around and it with the Kakui and all that, it makes it super good. And shutting off their trade abilities. I think it's definitely a deck to try out. I kind of just have a love, sweet spark, sweet spot in my heart for this deck. And congrats on getting top eight at this regional. And hope you do better and keep with the great ideas with the Dawn fam and stuff and expanded. And from now on, stay be excellent to each other and party on dudes.